It's like, okay, you have to reset something or set yeah. something up. Starting recording. Okay. Oh, you weren't recording before? No. Uh, okay, that's yeah. fine. Mm. Do you want to show where your birds are before we start? Maybe put that on as part of the recording? Sure. Yeah, they're pretty we have to get him because we can't switch no, the just, just, just switch it. I can't flip it. Maybe how about, well, how about this? Instead of showing the birds, how about, um, how about each of you take your, your birds and show them? Just, if it's, if it's okay. easier that way. So, each of you talk about your, your bird briefly. Well, My bird is Kevin. Mine's Butternut. It's, mine's blue and white and has little black spots on it. Mine's and blue little. and red and quiet and you can do loops and it's a boy. Well, show, how, show how it does loops. Okay. It, it's going to fly off my finger. Okay. It, it, I like to make sure it doesn't fall. So. Of course, yeah, no, that's important. And, and uh, does Kevin do any tricks or anything like that? Not in front of people. Ah, uh, okay. It's a, a bit more of a shy type of bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. So you both introduced your birds, and you can set them aside. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. And so you're both ready to be hypnotized otherwise? Yep. Excellent. Okay, well then, let me formally introduce myself, and, and then I'll do the same with each of you as well. Um, so we can begin, sort of, that's the polite way to do it. So my name is Jeff, and we'll start with the person wearing the green. Oh, oh I'm Haley. Excellent, nice to meet you. Sorry, what, what's your name again? Uh, Ashley. Sorry, you said Ashley? Yeah. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Ashley. And to your immediate left is? Gabby. Nice to meet you, Gabby. Um, what'd you say? I said Gabby. Gabby. No, he, I sw he didn't, he, he no. That, that's it's, it's not, not, say it again, maybe no. saying it wrong. Say it, it again. It's Gabby. It's G-A-B-B-Y. Ah. Uh, yeah. So Gabby. No. You, no, oh my god, why are you, you, you can't go around saying that, oh, oh my god, why is he, no, no. And so, and, and, okay, and, uh, sorry, girl in green, your name is again, I, I, I totally forgot, I blanked my mind here. Skyler. Tyler. Skyler. Um, so, hmm, sorry? Skyler. Oh, Skyler, sorry, Skyler. Um, you, you say your friend's name again, because maybe I'm, I'm mishearing Gabby. her or something. Hmm? It's Gabby. So it's Gabby. N no, oh my god. Shaking my head. No, it's, it's oh, okay. So, um, uh, is it, it's Ashley, is there, what's, what's your name again? Or, or Skyler, what's, I've totally forgotten your name again. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, sorry. So, Cheyenne, maybe you say it one more time, because maybe... Gabby. Okay, let me try it one more time. It's Gabby. No. That's not nice. You don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying it. Okay. Well, you know what? Never mind the formal introductions that I'm, I'm still Jeff, but how about we just go right into to hypnotism instead? How does that sound? Okay. Okay. So both of you make yourselves comfortable. Good. Take a nice, slow, deep breath for both of you. And sleep now, relaxing, letting go deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed, letting go even more, doing wonderful, feeling wonderful as you sink down. Relaxing, good. Doing wonderful, feeling wonderful in every way. As you both sink deeper than you've ever been, your imaginations become more and more vivid, more and more real. When I give you suggestions, they become reality. They become the truth the moment that I say them. Be able to see them, hear them, taste them, touch them, smell them, whatever it involves. It'll be totally and completely real to you in every way. The suggestions I've given to you both about names will continue to, to work. 
Haley, you'll keep making up different names each time. And Gabby, every time I say your name, I'm totally pronouncing it wrong. You can't believe that I can't seem to say your name every time I say it. To show you both how deeply hypnotized you are. On the count of three, for you, Haley, it's going to be your left wrist is going to be attached to helium balloons and Gabby it'll be your right wrist attached to helium balloons on the count of three left wrist for Haley right wrist for Gabby attached to helium balloons on the count of three and so your wrist will float up into the air one two and three and up it goes quickly easily effortlessly attached to helium balloons that's right until it reaches a nice comfortable height where it remains, floating easily, effortlessly, comfortably. Good. Now for both of you. I'm going to count from one up to five. You'll both open your eyes. You'll both awaken, feeling absolutely wonderful, happy, and fantastic. For both of you, your wrists are still attached to those balloons. Those balloons are totally and completely real to you. In fact, these are happy balloons. These are wonderful balloons. When you both reach number five, you'll know that your wrist is attached to helium balloons. You'll see that your wrist is floating. You'll be able to look up at the ceiling. You'll see the helium balloons floating there. You'll feel the ribbon tied around your wrist. You will believe that you gave each other helium balloons as a surprise, as a present. And so that's why the helium balloons are there. You'll feel like a little kid. You'll want to play with them. You'll want to interact with them. Maybe you'll kind of hit them towards each other. And the whole thing, those balloons are totally real. The more you sort of look at them and talk about them and interact with them, the happier and better, more positive that you feel. On the count of five, wide awake, counting up starting with one, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Mm. So we can start in a moment, but okay. what's going on? There, yeah. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. It's pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty. Sorry, what's going on? And we have balloons. Oh, is that what's going on with your hand? Because I can see like there's a, a, a ribbon or something there, or a string, yeah. but I can't see yeah. anything else off cam. So there's, um, so I, I kept the girl in green. I keep forgetting your name. What's your name again? Cheyenne. Sorry, it's Cheyenne? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so Cheyenne, what, how many balloons are, are there? Because I can't see them at all. Um, I have like five. Five of them? What colors are they? They're all different. Oh, they're all different. Like what rainbow colors? Rainbow colors. Which colors are they? Rainbow colors. Oh, rainbow of colors. Okay, I gotcha. Do you want to pull one down to show me? Now the webcam is a little bit blurry. What what color is that one? This one, it's just all of them together. Oh, okay. I gotcha. That's why the, the cam is sort of picking up a bit of the blur. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can let it go. And okay. I want to make sure I pronounce your, your, your name correctly. It's Gabby, isn't it? N n no, it's, it's Gabby. Ah, okay. How many, how many balloons do you have? Seven. And, and what colors are they? Uh, black and blue. Black and blue. Okay. Sort of like what you're going to do to me if I keep saying your name wrong? It yeah. Means black and blue. Gotcha. Okay. I understand now. Um, okay. Cool. How did they get there? Because I was going to do a hypnosis session with you. I, I didn't realize that. She gave me them. And then I gave her balloons. Oh, that's so nice of you guys. Yeah. That's very cool. Are you concerned that the birds are going to pop them or anything like that? No. No. They're and, and... Birds. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the, the names of the birds. The girl in green, I, I forgot your name again. What's the, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, what's, what's the name of, uh, your bird? Kevin. Kevin, right, 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 Kevin. And, and, yeah, I'm going to say it right this time. I'm going to nail it. It's Gabby. It, it's Gabby. So I'm still saying it wrong? Yeah. What's, uh, what's the name of your bird? Butternut. Butternut, okay. I gotcha. The birds aren't going to touch the balloons at all? Nope. Okay. You've got them trained to be, like, anti-balloon fanatics or something like that. They don't touch balloons. They steer clear of balloons. They're awesome birds, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll hypnotize you both with the balloons. You don't want to um, 
smack him around or do anything to him or both of you take a nice slow deep breath from it. And both of you sleep now. All the way down, relaxing, letting go. Good. Deeper and deeper. You're both doing fantastic. Your imaginations are wonderful. Everything kicks in even more. As you continue to sink in deeper and deeper. Totally relaxed. Let it sink in that the balloons are still on the ceiling, but they're not attached to your wrists anymore. They're going to remain floating around the ceiling. These are your happy balloons. You can always look up and see them. They'll make you happy that they're there. Now, Haley, let it sink in that rather than coming up with different names, from now on, for the rest of the session, until I say otherwise, you will believe that your name is Mickey Mouse. You're gonna believe that your name is Mickey Mouse. If I ask you your name, your name is Mickey Mouse. You're very proud of it. It's a family name. And Gabby, every time I mispronounce your name still, you'll be quite annoyed that I can't seem to get it right, not even once, as you both think deeper and deeper, relaxing and letting go. Now here's what's gonna happen. Gabby, let it sink in. Gabby, let it sink in. That you cannot say the number five. Anytime you try and say the number five, you'll start to stutter it. You'll start to sort of stumble over the word. You'll be able just to be able to say the letter F. You'll just be able to say F and nothing else. If you manage to get a word out, it'll be a completely different word. The harder you try and say the number five, the more difficult it'll be to say. You'll be able to say the letter F. And if anything else follows, it'll be a completely different word. You'll know that you're trying to say the number five. You'll know that you're trying to say the word five. You'll know that. And you'll always be kind of a little bit startled and frustrated that you can't seem to say the word. Haley, let it sink in that you've totally forgotten the number five. The number five no longer exists. The numbers from one to 10 are one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, 11, 12, 13. All the other numbers exist, but there's no longer a number five. Even if you see it on the screen, even if you see it on the keyboard, even if there's a big poster there, it doesn't matter. The number five no longer exists. So once again, Haley, the number five no longer exists at all. And Gabby, every time you try and say the number five, all you'll be able to get out is just the F. And if it, if you manage to, to get a, a word out, it'll be a completely different word other than the number five. You'll know you're trying to say five. You'll be kind of frustrated by it. I'm gonna count from one up to three. Both of you will open your eyes and awaken. When you awaken feeling absolutely wonderful, you'll both want to look up and see that the balloons are still there. You'll both kind of smile happily that they're there and then believe we're about ready to start. On the count of three, one, two, three, wide awake. So, yeah, we can start in a moment. Um, and... Oh. Oh. And so, uh... I'm struggling with this. I'm, I'm so horrible with names. My, apolo my apologies once again. The girl in green, I keep forgetting. What's your name? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Okay, so nice to meet you, Mickey Mouse. Um, now, that's a very unusual name. Is that, is, does that come from any sort of ethnic background? Is there... It's a family name. It's a family name. Okay. So, um, so Mickey Mouse and, sorry, I keep... Uh, I want to make sure. Say, say your name again. Gabby. So it's Gabby. No. Oh my God. No. 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 Okay. So I'm not even getting close. Okay. So, um, you guys ready to to start doing some hypnotism? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um. So before I do that, I'm going to do a bit of a, a I guess a bit of a focusing exercise. Mm -hmm. So. Speaking with uh, 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 Girl in Green, what's your name again? Mickey Mouse. 
Mickey Mouse, sorry, it's an unusual name, so I, I forgot there. So, uh, now can I call you Mickey or Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Which do you prefer? Mickey's fine. Mickey's fine? Okay. So, Mickey, um, I want you to tell me, you know, this is sort of a silly question, I guess you could both answer this. How many fingers do you have, fingers, thumbs in total, on both hands? Without counting them, just tell me. As I said, most people say ten. We have f f f on each hand or f together. Well, and in total, ten. Ten. Okay. Okay. But Good. How many do? Yeah. So, uh, Mickey, would you hold up your your hands? And is it? It's. It's Gabby. No. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to point slowly at at, at each finger of, of Mickey Mouse, and Mickey Mouse, I want you to count your, your fingers out loud. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have eleven fingers. I guess mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I, thought you had, I thought you had ten fingers. So did I. Gabby, does that seem right to you? Nope. You have ten. What? You're weird. But we counted. What, well, what did well, what did she what did she do wrong? She 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 for, she forgot for 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 that the, the, that one. She forgot what? That one. That one. That well, number. You that one. You were, you were, you were pointing at it. Count. Mickey Mouse, count again. One. And and two. what? And well, I was gonna say and 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 Gabby, you 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 point out when she's saying something wrong. Okay. One, two, three. Four, six. No. What? You, you forgot the number fa, 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 fa the, that, that number. You know number. where there's that many. Okay. Well. This is. Mouse, just just count them. Just count them on your own because it looks like that it's it's Gabby, isn't it? No. Uh, oh. Um. Okay. Hey, Haley, you. Or Mickey Mouse, you count your, your your fingers there. You keep counting them out loud. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to have to kill 11. you. So you have 11 fingers. How about this? How about we just do one hand only? Count just the number of fingers on one hand. One, two, three, four, six. No. Ugh. What's, what's she missing? Face palm. She's forgetting the fa. Fifth for that. Fuh, 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 fuh. That's that's not a word. It's, it's fuh, 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 fuh. Have you got fuh. like a fly in your tongue or something? What's, what's going on there? I got in my mouth <laughs> Count the number of fingers on your other hand, starting with one. Me? Ooh. Mickey Mouse. Oh. One, two, three, four, six. I kill you. Oh, wait a second. What's six plus six? Twelve. Well, hang on. Do you have ten, eleven, or twelve fingers? I don't know. Oh my god. For you, uh, Gabby, it seems so obvious in terms of what's going on. Yeah. I, I How about you count your fingers? Me? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, five. I hate my life. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, so Gabby, you work on that. You keep trying to figure that out, and Mickey Mouse, you uh, keep. Why don't you try and figure out what's going on with your hands there? Mm, it's fa fa fa. fa. I thought fa. I had ten fingers. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I'm starting <laughs> to get really mad. I can't. Fa fa. fa, fa. Both of you sleep now. That's right, all the way down, relaxing, letting go deeper and deeper, all the way down. You're both doing absolutely wonderful, deeper than you've ever been. Such wonderful imaginations taking you even deeper still. You're both doing absolutely fantastic. Your mind opens up more and more with every suggestion that I give you. Continuing to relax and let go. Let it sink in now. The number five has returned. Haley, the number five has returned. You can remember the number five. The number five exists as it always has. The number five has returned fully and completely in every way. And for you, Gabby, let it sink in. 
that you can now say the number five. You can pronounce it easily and effortlessly. There is no problem in doing so. You won't be quite, neither of you will be quite sure as to what was going on, why you were counting the fingers that you were, why you were mispronouncing the number five, but everything is back to normal in that way. But now you have both forgotten your names. Neither of you can remember your names at all. First names, middle names, last names, initials, pet names, nicknames, it's all gone for both of you from your memory, from your mind. When I awaken you both, you'll both actually be focused initially on your fingers. You'll want to, both of you be counting your fingers, you'll both be satisfied that you have 10 fingers, no more issues, no more problems. You'll both be quite happy about that. Should I ask either of you your name? You will not be able to remember your name. The harder you try, the further away it goes. You won't be able to remember your name. Now, for the person who's listening in, so, for example, Haley, if I'm asking you to remember your name and you can't remember it, Gabby, you're going to find that to be absolutely hysterical, that Haley cannot remember her name. It blows your mind that she can't remember such a, a simple thing, uh, can't remember a question like that. You cannot believe it at all. And vice versa. Gabby, if I'm asking your name and you can't remember it, Haley, you'll find it to be absolutely funny, absolutely hysterical. You cannot believe it at all that the other person cannot remember their name. For both of you, I'll count from one up to five. You'll both awaken, feeling absolutely wonderful. Once again, both of you checking your hands, seeing that you have the proper number of fingers, feeling happy and satisfied about that, and otherwise ready to start. Counting up starting with one, two, three, four, five. Wide awake. <sighs> one, two, ten. ten. We both have both have ten? Okay. Yeah, have a, a high ten. High ten. No, high ten. Yeah. Right then, there we yeah. go. Excellent. Okay. Because you were both having a little bit of a problem with that before, thank goodness. Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, good. It's about time. I mean, you guys were playing with balloons for a little bit there, and your birds are safe? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Um, so let me formally introduce myself. Well, I'll wait until you're finished having a drink there. It looks like you're about ready to have a drink. Okay. Um, product placement, product placement. My soda exploded last night. And you drop a cake. <laughs> she dropped my cake. Hmm. We have a cake dropper in our midst? Yeah. Uh oh. I didn't. Well, I don't, need to I don't know if I can cake. hypnotize a cake dropper. That's that's just dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Hypnotizing so a cake cake dropper leads to, to all sorts of problems. Uh, oh. First it's cake, then it's the icing. I just have the up. most wonderful idea. What if he could hypnotize my mom into letting me dye my hair whatever color I want? Or cut it whatever I want? I'd, hmm. I'd be happy. <laughs> I think, I think you're, you're, I, I, I could do that. But then your mother, I think, would probably hunt me down and, and probably hurt me. <laughs> so, I, I, and I'm sure you're thinking, well, that's a sacrifice you'll be willing to make. But my answer is no. Um, so... Let's, let's formally begin. My name is Jeff, and we'll start with the girl in green. Your name is... Um, your name is... Uh... You're seriously not... Are you, your name are you, is... Are you, are you dumb? That's me. <laughs> She's dumb. I, okay, girl in green, I would like to, to hypnotize you, but we're going to have a bit of a problem if I can't even refer to you. You, what's what's your what's your name? Or at least the first name. You don't have to say your full name, obviously. I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> oh Can my god! Believe, I can't believe that. You don't remember your name? Not at all. Not even like your initials or anything. Oh, who's my dumb little? What well, was in that drink mm. of yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Third vodkas or something yeah. in there? Someone, someone spike it with something? What have you been smoking? Oh, well, JK, the question is, what hasn't she been smoking? Ah, uh, there you go. You see? Yeah. I've got my 
assistant over here who's who's helping me out in terms of, of making fun of you. So <laughs> maybe you should introduce yourself to the to, to the folks as well, or introduce yourself to me. What? Okay. Your your first name. Uh... Ha! Hey! You call me stupid. Wah! Sorry, you can't remember your name either. Ah. Initials? You don't have to say it out loud. Do you remember your last name, though? No? What? Now, I'm supposed to be hypnotizing you guys, and you don't even remember your names. Did either of you have a birthday recently, relatively? Nope. Mm, you did. Last month. Oh, last no. month, okay. Yeah, no. No, two, two months, months ago. ago. Oh. Two months ago. Okay, so two months ago, there was probably a cake. Like People it. probably started singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Sing it along. Sing the song. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to and what a dear. Dear. Insert name mm -hmm. here. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to hypnotize two very mysterious people who uh, <laughs> apparently don't have names or don't know their names. Maybe you're both drinking the same. Uh, are you sure it's cake that you're dropping, or are you guys getting into yeah. getting into something? Well, okay. Yeah. I didn't drop the cake. It was on there, and it you, fell off it when fell. I put it on the I was going it. to eat that. So was I. <sighs> I was mad because that was what I was going to eat. I was like, oh, sad face. You mad? Yes. Okay. How about I hypnotize you guys? Okay. Okay. Both of you sit back, though. I'd call you by your names, but I have no idea what they are. <laughs> so both sit back, make yourselves nice and comfortable. I got this. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, so now we're, like, totally lounging. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Okay, it's going to be, like, a totally a relaxed one. hypnosis session. Oh, All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. You both ready to begin? Oh, yeah. Great. Both of you sleep now. All the way down, relaxing, letting go deeper and deeper. Good. Your body grows loose and limp and heavy. Deeper than it's ever been. More relaxed than it's ever been both in a deep, deep sleep. Let it sink in. You now can both remember your names fully and completely in every every way. First names, middle names, last names, any sort of nicknames. Everything has come back into your mind, fresh and clear. No problems with it at all. Let it sink in. You no longer have pet birds. The pet birds are gone. A figment of your imagination. Let it sink in. The balloons on the ceiling are gone as well. Also a figment of your imagination. And just before we end the session, we're going to go on a little bit of a journey first. We're going to use that great imagination of yours. On the count of three, you're no longer in the bedroom. On the count of three, you're both going to believe that you're sitting in a lounge chair on a beach. On the count of three, you're both going to believe that you're sitting in a lounge chair on a beach. On the count of three, you keep your eyes closed, but otherwise beneath you, you'll feel a lounge chair and that you're on a beach and you'll believe that and experience it fully and completely. You may adjust how you're sitting because you're on that lounge chair. On the count of three, one, two, and three. And you're both sitting on a lounge chair on a beach. And as you're both sitting on that lounge chair, there's, of course, people out in the water that you can see and hear. As you're focusing on the, the water there. And then there's the brown sand, people walking by. See and hear as well. Gentle breeze coming off the water. Maybe there's birds flying by, that type of thing. You're both on a lounge chair on a beach, and you're both feeling absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, because you're out in the sun, you don't want a sunburn at all. You have, by your left hand, a bottle of suntan lotion. Why don't you reach out, grab that bottle of suntan lotion, and you'll put it on wherever you, you, you need to. It could just be your arms or shoulders or face or wherever you think you need to. You'll grab that bottle of suntan lotion. You're spreading it on. That way you don't burn. 
wherever you need to. That's right. That's absolutely fantastic. And once you're finished putting on the suntan lotion wherever you need to, then you'll just continue to lay out in the sun, enjoying yourself. That's absolutely fantastic. That's really good. Enjoying the wonderful, wonderful weather. Good. Now, it just so happens that you got out there, out in the sun, relatively early on in the day. But now, as the sun starts to creep higher and higher into the sky, you're starting to notice it's starting to get hotter and hotter. As the sun gets higher and higher into the sky, it's getting hotter and hotter. In fact, it's like already 100 degrees. It's getting hotter and hotter still. You're starting to sweat a little bit. You're starting to sweat a little bit more. You're, maybe you need to wipe your foreheads or your neck. Maybe your hair is kind of getting a little bit sticky on the back of your neck. Maybe... Your, your, your cheeks are kind of getting a little bit sticky as well. It's 100 degrees. It's actually getting hotter still, 105 degrees. Holy cow. It is getting so hot. It's 110 degrees. Can't believe how hot it is. Maybe the best thing you can do is to start to fan your face with your hands because that'll cool your face down at least. 110 degrees. Fan your face with your hands faster, faster, faster. The faster you do it, the cooler you'll feel. The faster you cool you do it the cooler you'll feel that's right faster and faster using both hands will cool you twice as fast it's 120 degrees you can't believe how hot it is holy cow oh but look at that the sun is going behind the cloud now so the temperature is dropping 110 105 190 degrees ah it's becoming comfortable again okay good phew it's comfortable again you can just relax and lay out in the sun there that's good that's better that's fantastic and as you're laying out there in the sun and enjoying the suntan that you're having you kind of notice in the distance there is someone you find to be really really cute you kind of see them in the distance they're kind of walking towards you someone is really not only cute but hot holy cow they are smoking hot and you're kind of watching them now as they're they're walking on the beach. They're kind of heading in your direction. Now, you want them to notice you. And you're wearing a great outfit and your hair is perfect and you're feeling really, really confident. So maybe you want to sit up a little bit or you want to be in a be sitting in a way so that they'll notice you. You want to make sure that they notice you as they get closer and closer. And as they get closer and closer, make sure that they can notice you. So whatever you need to do, maybe it's a smile, maybe you just want to fix your hair, maybe you want to adjust how you're sitting, whatever it happens to be for you. They're getting closer and closer. This is a really, really cute person. Here they come, they're getting closer and closer. And look at that, they are actually glancing your way. Smile at them. They're glancing your way. Smile at them. That's right. Oh, look at that, they're smiling back at you. They've noticed you. That's fantastic. And now they're literally walking right in front of you now. And they're still glancing at you. Smile back. You feel really confident. You really feel really confident about yourselves because they've noticed you. Out of everyone on the beach, that really hot person has noticed you, picked you out. Now they're kind of walking by. As they finish walking by, you're still kind of following them a little bit. You're kind of just watching them walk by. Just in case they happen to look back again at you. And look at that, they do. And they wave. Wave back. And look at that, they're waving at you again. And you feel absolutely fantastic now as they keep going down on the beach, walking further away. You feel so confident in yourselves. Confident that they picked you out. They noticed you. And let it sink in. That self-confidence is going to continue. That feeling that you have right now is going to continue even after the session is over. You're both going to feel confidence in yourself and your abilities in everything that you do, whether it's schoolwork, a job, interacting with friends, doing a project, it doesn't matter what. That confidence that you feel right now is going to remain with you. You're going to feel always that good about yourselves. Now, as you continue there, still feeling really, really good about yourselves. Someone wanders by to the vendor, and the vendor is offering drinks, and it is still fairly hot out, and he's offering you both drinks, and 
You're both going to take a drink from them. You're both a bottle of water. You're both kind of thirsty. So reach out, grab the bottle of water from the vendor. And you're both feeling a little bit parched, so maybe you should have a drink now. Have a little bit of that drink. And it feels so good going down. Yeah, it's it's definitely your, your throat's a little bit parched, so that's good as it goes down. There you go. Wow, that's fantastic. That's making you feel better. But it just so happens. You didn't read the label at first. You're reading the label now. It's giggle juice. They gave you giggle juice. It's making you feel giggly. It's making you start to laugh. It's starting to kick in. It's starting to have an effect. It's making you start to giggle and laugh harder and harder. The more you giggle, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more you giggle. You can't believe it. You're giggling and laughing, giggling and laughing. The giggle juice has totally kicked in. The giggle juice has totally kicked in. It's it's gone from giggling to, to full out laughter. You can't you can't stop it at all. You get giggling and laughing, giggling and laughing, giggling and laughing. You can't believe it. Take another sip. You're feeling so good. Take another sip. Watch it double the giggle, giggling and laughing. <laughs> Feels absolutely fantastic. That's great. <laughs> Keeping giggling and laughing, I'll count from three down to one when I reach number one. No longer on the beach, no longer giggling and laughing, no longer any giggle juice. You'll both instantly relax and sink into a deep, deep sleep. One, two, three, relax, deeply asleep. All the way down. Good. Deeper and deeper and deeper still. We're going to be ending the session now. We're going to be ending the session in a moment. I will count from one up to five. You will both open your eyes. You will both awake and feeling absolutely wonderful, happy, fantastic in every way. The commands I've given you about having self-confidence, that's going to remain. That's going to remain the rest of your life. That feeling that you felt when that person noticed you and how good you felt about yourself is going to translate into everything you do. You're going to feel good about yourself physically. You're going to feel good about your abilities, your skills, things that you want to do in the future, things you might want to explore, whether it's a new job, whether it's a, a new school course, a career, whatever it happens to be. That level of self-confidence will remain with you for the rest of your lives. Both of you nod your head if you understand. Good. The, you both easily remember your names now. The number five. The balloons are gone. The birds are gone. On the count of five, you will both open your eyes. You will both awaken feeling absolutely wonderful, happy, and fantastic. You will now both be aware of the fact that it hypnotized you. You will both definitely recall how relaxed you felt, how amazing the feeling was. Beyond that, it will be whatever your own mind allows you to recall. You might remember very little. You might remember a lot. It will be whatever your own mind allows you to recall. So each of you may recall different things. Gabby speaking to you specifically, though, you will definitely remember the brief demonstration I did on Haley in terms of making her arm stiff, in terms of how relaxed she felt. You will remember that demonstration because you found it interesting. So that you'll remember for sure, as well as your relaxation. Haley, you will remember how relaxed you felt and whatever your own mind allows you to recall beyond that. For both of you feeling infinitely more self-confident than you've ever felt in your lives. Both had a lot of fun being able to laugh at yourselves and each other, wanting to be hypnotized again as soon as possible because it was so much fun. Counting up starting with one, feeling the energy starting to return, flowing through the floor and to your feet, up through your legs, through the rest of your body too, feeling that energy just pulsating, radiating, filling your body. Three, you're going to feel like you've just had an eight-hour nap. Four, you're going to feel like you have just had a ten-hour massage. Five, wide awake. Hey, guys. Um, if you want to... Um contact Jeff. Um, I will put a link with his um, username and stuff or to his channel. I'll put it in the description and I'll put a box somewhere around here. And yeah, um, me and Gabby had a lot of fun doing this. Um, he did not force us to do anything. I know everyone says that and you're probably going to say, oh, he made you say that, but he didn't. And honestly, you would have seen it.
because yes I edited the video but the video that I saw I would have seen that and he's gonna say oh they said he made me delete the video no he didn't he's not like that he's a professional hypnotist he's not a con man so don't start saying stuff because I know the videos from last time from when me and my other friend did this and those two parts wouldn't upload and that was just her phone because we recorded it from her phone and they wouldn't upload that wasn't our fault wasn't Jeff's fault it was her phone's fault we couldn't control it um the glare of my glasses is really starting to bug me um but yes I look orange right now and it's really starting to bug me but oh well so yes I hope you like the video comment like it subscribe to me and I'll talk to you guys later.